Well, live look this morning out of Dallas. You might see this when you step out the door. The super moon, the harvest moon, signifying the end of summer, beginning of fall, whenever that's going to happen. Uh, if you <laughs> missed it, as I said, you can still see it this morning, or you can just look right here. Now, this is video from later on when we had that uh, partial lunar eclipse. But mm -hmm. I did notice as I got in the car bright and early, it was literally super bright because uh, it's a little bit closer to yeah, Earth than it is. Yeah, that's is. the definition of a super moon. It, not only the super moon, harvest moon, but we also had this cool partial eclipse like last all night. All sorts of lunar stuff happening. Yeah, it was it was so neat to see. And if you did miss the partial lunar eclipse, you know the super moon generally you can see it and it'll look full. It, it won't officially be full, but it'll look full. Uh, it really for the next couple of nights, so you still have time to see it. Here's a, another picture that we got from uh, X Todd J sent this into the weather team and you can see it kind of looks like just a really bright light, uh, but it's actually the moon uh, just shining bright in last night's sky. Luckily, we had beautiful uh, clear skies. So this is what happens during a partial lunar eclipse. So you have the sun that's shining on the Earth. The Earth does cast a shadow. Sometimes we get this uh, uh, line of the sun, the Earth and the moon. So the moon enters the Earth's shadow and at times it can uh, turn into a red hue. We didn't quite see that last night, and that's because the sun's rays have to go through the Earth's atmosphere. So it's bending and refracting and all of that causes kind of the change in, in color. And, and last night we had that happen and it was just a partial, so it didn't go directly into the umbra, but it was in the penumbra. So it looked a little like this at one point. And again, that maximum eclipse was just before 10 last night. So it's called the super harvest moon, uh, the super moon, because the moon, it's its closest point in the earth, uh, making it appear excuse me, closest to the earth in its orbit, and it makes it appear a lot brighter and larger than normal. Again, you'll be able to see this tonight and tomorrow night as well, and it's named the harvest moon because it's signaled to harvest summer crops before the cold season began. So really cool. If you have any cool pictures, be sure to send those in used to hashtag I am up. Mark, I've seen some beautiful ones. We'll share them in a bit. Thank you, Marielle.